Gun violence is the leading cause of death for children. One of the leading causes of deaths for adult in this country, yet has some of the least amount of money going towards it for data and research. An impassioned plea from Florida Congressman Maxwell Frost explaining the need for a bill he's introducing that would establish an Office of Gun Violence Prevention. It would bring those impacted by violence with federal agencies to do research, collect data, and advance policy that would prevent gun violence. How many killings are there going to be before we really put our foot down and do something? This is enough. Some of the many backing the bill is the family of Tiana Major, the nine-year-old killed in the Pine Hills shooting earlier this year. She dreamed of being an Olympian and worked very hard to be the very best that she could be. That dream tragically taken from her and two others in a matter of hours. After yet another weekend of gun violence, not just here in Orlando, but across the nation, Mayor Buddy Dyer says he refuses to accept our reality as our new normal. Preventing acts of gun violence should be a priority for Congress, and this legislation puts it at the forefront. There's no reason this should not be a bipartisan effort. Republicans and Democrats should be for this piece of legislation. So during the press conference, I asked Representative Frost for a timeline when it comes to if this bill is passed, what sort of timeline they're looking at when it comes to producing results. He told me that it would be a quick turnaround because much of the data that this office would be looking for, the government already collects it. So they would then use that and figure out how to stop the violence before it happens. Reporting live from City Hall in downtown Orlando, Marlisa Goldsmith, Fox 35 News. Mar